Hello everyone, welcome to Data Extraction 101 series where I will show you how to export Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations data into Azure Data Lake using a feature uh, within Entity Store or well, let's call that Entity Store Refresh. How it looks is this, where we have Finance and Operations instance and it will automatically refresh uh, some data into Azure Data Lake Gen 2 and just to be aware, uh, the data that is exporting is actually not entity or not table. If you're aware with Dynamics 365, is actually exporting what they call it aggregate measurement, which is effectively a collection of measures and dimensions. And measures are things like total sales, number of items, and dimensions are things like customer, product, or country. And this is basically a roll-up version of Dynamics Entity. And if you want to know uh, how to extract uh, FNO entities into Azure, uh, particularly Azure SQL Database, uh, I've got a video for you and just click the link at the top right corner there. And as of today, this feature is still in public preview. And so don't use it for production yet. They're still developing it. And this feature allows you to automatically refresh every hour, day or week. Um, so it's a, it's a good feature to have if you uh, use this. Okay, without further ado, let's get to the demo. Welcome to Azure portal, where I have this resource group and two resources, one key vault, one storage account. And just bear in mind, this storage account has been set as data lake gen two and and basically it means uh, when I created this, I've got the hierarchical namespace enabled. Uh, please do so as well. Now, uh, I also have a finance and operations system here uh, and that is used for our demo today. Now, before we start, uh, let's start first to give you an understanding what we're going to do. So in finance and operations, uh, if you go to modules, system administration, under setup, you want to go to system parameters. And under system parameters, you want to go to data connections. And this is basically the configuration in FNO that we need to set up. Um, the application ID and application secrets are related to a service principle that we're going to create later in Azure portal. DNS name is the URL of the key vault. The secret name is the secret that contains the connection key or access key of the storage account data lake gen 2. Uh, let's do this one by one uh, from the bottom. So if you go to data lake, access keys, you want to copy the connection string here, the second one, and we want to put that into key vault. So go here and go to access, and you want to generate uh, a new connection secret, let's just call it connection one, paste the access key there, make sure it's enabled and create. You have that one now, Let's copy that and put that as a secret name. The next thing is let's get the Azure Key Vault DNS name, which is in the overview here. And you want to paste that in under DNS name. Now, uh, before uh, we can complete, obviously we need to finish these two and we now need to create a Service principle. So you go to Azure AD, go to App Registration, and New Registration. I'm just going to call it D365. Yeah, just single tenant. And add the, for the redirect URI, I'll add the URL of my dynamics. And so from the beginning all the way to, and to dot com here. So paste that there. You want to register. Okay, now we want to allow this service principle to access Key Vault. So go to API permissions and add permissions and choose Azure Key Vault. Tick the box, add permission. 
and also make sure you grant admin consent for demo once it's granted great now you want to go and allow this service principle to access key vault within key vault so you go to azure key vault you go to access policies and you want to add access policy and i'm just going to allow only secrets here uh, just get and list and just click on that one the one that i just created go to select and you want to add that one great and make sure you save done and let's now go back to retrieve the details of that service principle so you go back to app registration and you click that one and first of all the application id is the application id here the secret is something that you need to generate so you go to certificate and secrets new client secret let's call it test and you pick that one and you paste that if you test as your key vault successful test as your storage also successful and you want to enable data lake integration as well now when if you want you can also uh, enable trickle update which basically it allows to do export in small batches now make sure you save this great now as suggested let's go to system admin again under setup now we go to entity store great and let's just pick one uh, aggregate measure here i'm just gonna click that one uh, make sure the auto refresh is enabled and then you can just click refresh so that it's gonna do its export this is gonna take some time a uh, few minutes not more than that uh, okay after some time uh when i click refresh now i've got a new row here in the lock that suggests that the export has been populated has been done successfully uh, i think this was about three to five minutes after i saved the connection um, if you go to azure data lake and source explorer go and expand this as you can see here a new container is created along with a folder and the aggregate measurements and for that aggregate measurement there you go now just fyi this is in a cdm or common data model format and and just so you know so just search microsoft documents on common data model if you want to explore further and or let me know if you have any questions in the comment below uh, but that's basically it for this video uh, if you like this video, please press uh, like and subscribe for more future videos about Azure and data platform and have a nice day. Thank you.